Sorry about the glare. We're gonna do a short run here, and uh, this is Salem, Ohio. Show you two of the homes where Alan Freed lived through high school. That term rock and roll came from. And then we'll shoot over by the Birchfield Museum. So it's a street. We used to live on the second house there up on the left with the flag, which was 666 back in the late 60s. And they had <laughs> that number changed to 664. So this was a brick street back then when we did trick or treating that fall. <clears throat> So that's about 14, 15 houses from the back there, up on the left here. I'm not going to point that out or give you the house number. You can go through the Salem Historical Society for that. And, uh, we don't want to bother anybody, but uh, I think we're already past it. So, <clears throat> most of high school, they lived there on the left. And like I said, you know, don't want a crowd of people bothering him, but uh, the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame came and talked to him years ago. And I talked to him in 2016 when I was still pretty sick from the neck injury. This was a Sunoco station when I worked at Conrail back in the 90s. On the right there. <coughs> oh, I'm so sorry. Emphysema hits whenever it wants. So the uh, school up there on the left is now Kent State. That was my junior high. The white brick. That was uh, Alan Freed's high school. That opened in 1916. So my youngest son lived up the street here on the right. <coughs> so just around the corner. <coughs> During Alan Freed's senior year, they moved to these apartments up here on the right. There's like a four unit here with a red parked in front. So, <coughs> I'm sorry. So there's like a couple other places they stayed before those two places and there's a brochure you can pick up the Salem Historical Society. A little coffee this morning. Sorry. Let's see if I got the right street or I'm off by one. I might be off by one. was off by one street. <laughs> so here on the left, Birchfield Homestead Museum. That's on 4th Street in Salem. 
I don't know when it's open and stuff. I think I've been in there one time. So the other Birchfield Museum is uh, Buffalo, New York. So here is, uh, <clears throat> on the left and right, your first Plymouth dealer in the United States. And on the right is now a food bank for sale. That's about it. Not sure how you can get to become the first Plymouth dealer. I'm gonna have to cut off here for a second. I think. Got a major sneeze coming on. It might blow your system up. So there's a yeah, junior high on the left is a high school. State Farm on the left was like the West Virginia Gas Company sold appliances. I'm going to cut you off and I'm going to start a new video here pretty soon heading down the Ohio River. See you later.